Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel for another Sailor Moon review. Today, I have the Sailor Moon Crystal Volume 1, and I'm very excited about finally getting this. I pre-ordered this months and months and months ago, but I had re-pre-ordered it again at Otakon when I was there. And the reason why I did that is they were giving out these little art cards and they were like really really pretty and I couldn't stop looking at them so I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna send back the one that I knew was coming in the mail for me and then just have them resend me another copy just so I can get that art card so I know it's completely crazy because it's just a card for a lot of people but I couldn't stop looking at it so I'm like okay fine so I did that and at Otakon they did have these on hand and these are of course the sun catchers and like i kind of mentioned a little bit in my viz media promotional video i wasn't like crazy excited about getting one of these i mean it's kind of cool and all and i thought it was interesting and i love little extra things like that art card that i wanted but the design on this is very simplified and for what it is you don't particularly probably want to use this in the window because as you know with a lot of things that are plastic sun is very damaging after a while so I probably won't actually use mine I'll probably just hang it somewhere it might even make an ornament out of it because uh, actual like regular light like a bulb Christmas bulb or something would be better for this than the actual Sun would so it's always something you could do maybe if you wanted to steal my idea but it's very cool and we're gonna take a look at it and plus we're going to be opening this obviously so we can take a look at it as well i haven't had a chance to do that yet so i'm very much looking forward to it plus i will also show the menus like i usually do with these because that makes the whole purpose of getting the blu-ray limited edition special because if it's anything like the classic anime they don't have really awesome menus on the dvd only version so I don't know what those will look like until I check them out here, so we'll do that afterward. Alright guys, so here is the silly sun catcher thing, and as you can tell, it's just a basic plastic disc with this image on it. And of course it has the copyright here, because it kind of has to have that to show that it's official, but it's just a little image. It's printed here on the back. And then it shows through here. So this would be the part you want to put toward the sun. So then you can see the image clearly. And it does have all the innards on there. And like this nice spiral kaleidoscope looking design. Very, very cool. But as you can see, mine kind of has this weird defect. I don't know why that is. If I put my finger over it, you can't tell. But yeah, it's a weird like defect. I don't know what that is. But... I'm not going to really be using mine anyways, but there that is. So on to the Blu-ray, and here it is. It does have this border that comes off like all the other ones do. Just basic art on there, just showing what all comes in this release. And I like the sticker on there, so I might try to take the sticker off the plastic to save it. But it says Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, Sailor Moon Crystal Volume 1, Set 1, Dark Kingdom Arc. So this is the complete Dark Kingdom Arc that you might have seen, which most of you that's probably watching this probably has on Hulu or uh, Crunchyroll. But here's a little synopsis, like always. This includes an 88-page booklet and seven art cards. And the art cards feature art that was on the original Japanese release boxes. And I thought that was a really nice touch. I was really happy that they included it in this and you didn't have to make any special pre-orders with right stuff just to get those cards. Mainly it was just this little sun catcher that if you wanted it, you had to get from right stuff. So but we'll get this open here and like I said, I kind of want to preserve that sticker as much as possible. I know some people try to just keep this plastic on there and everything, preserve the whole thing. But for me, I, I like them just the way they are without this and i'm glad they didn't put any crazy glue on the back of that cardboard so you can take it off really easily but here it is and it looks really clean and professional i really like 
how they tried to stay true to the Japanese, and that's pretty much what they did here. Here's the back. It's another reason why to take that off, because you can't see that, and you can't see the top here. Which features a moon and rose pattern design. That looks nice. And there's the bottom with copyright and all that. Some people have been complaining that their side here was actually, like the wording was off-center. And that is actually true. One of the two that I had received from Right Stuff was off-center quite a bit. So that was the one I ended up sending back. So watch out for that if you go to pre-order this or buy it in the store or whatever. Because that is apparently very true. So we'll get this out of here. And here is what the case looks like. Very, very nice. It has Volume 1's original box art on there from the Japanese release. The English logo there, Volume 1. It's got the 1 down here. It's in your standard Blu-ray case. And there's the back. It looks just like the back of the cardboard here that it came with. We'll open this up and take a look at the discs. So, uh, like the other ones, it does have... Ooh, well, here's something to watch out for. <laughs> that definitely is not good. But the back cardboard art, or the art that comes in the case, does have a nice picture silhouette of Sailor Moon, so that's really nice. And the moon back there. And it does have one through seven episodes here. And a really nice design of the, the crystal. And then this is 8 through 14 with the extras. That's really nice. And here's another here's another one that popped out of its case. I hope none of those are scratched. But this is, of course, the DVD portion. And that is the rest of it. So, But we'll take a look at both versions when I go to test them out so you guys can see exactly what these look like. As for the menus that is but i guess we'll take a look at this book first but yeah here's the book and it looks just like the box art sailor moon crystal one and then it has her locket here on the back which is a nice touch so i usually don't take a look at this whole thing but i'll go ahead and do that with you guys i'll take a look at it a little bit more than i usually do moon prism power makeup so yeah sailor moon crystal is definitely a lot cleaner of a presentation they do try to make it look very elegant and they do do a very good job with that I know a lot of people do not like crystal for one reason or another everybody's got their reasonings why they don't like it but I'm hoping because I haven't seen the the a new touched up blu-ray release of the episode so i hope they did fix a lot of the animation issues that they had i guess it only time will tell but it does have little breakdowns of all the episodes in this stephanie shea here's my favorite here is the character designs you got a little bit of this in the mook book that, that came out in japan but there was a lot more in the little books that you got with the Japanese volume releases. So I'm glad that they included a little bit of that for us international fans that can't afford $75 per volume. <laughs> but yeah, very pretty. It has the names. Like this would be something really nice for you to go to conventions and have the um, voice actresses sign their names under here. That would be really cool. That would be very challenging, but a very good idea, I think. But yeah, very, very nice book. Very nicely presented. I love the art. My favorite, as always. But we'll open this and take a little bit of a look. I wish they'd have like a pull tab on these to get these open a little easier than this. But okay, so these are the art cards. And these are glossy this time. I know a lot of the other ones that we got in previous versions, like the classic anime, they were more of a matte finish, but these are much glossier than those ones. But these are all the... We'll see. There you go, on the back. These are all the uh, art images that w was on the Japanese release volumes. And I assume that they'll do 
this again with there's Mars and her crazy posts. I I just don't understand that that much. <laughs> but I assume they'll do the remainder of these again for another set of the art cards because there's definitely more images than this for sure. And there's the last one. And this one is probably my favorite of this set. I have a lot more favorites in the next arc, the Black Moon arc. So, but yeah, very, very pretty cards. These would look really nice in a frame, preferably one that you can see both front and back if you wanted to. But yeah, very nice cards. I'm glad that they added these because these, these images need to be in an art book, which we have not gotten yet. Where is that art book? Kadancha, if you're listening, <laughs> where is that art book we were promised? But yeah, very nice cards, but that is pretty much the physical part of the box that you get, but we'll take a look at the menu so you guys can see what that looks like. guys so this is the first disc and this is for the blu-ray obviously the menu is quite impressive I definitely love the music they chose obviously from the show and the bottom display here is quite pretty you have the pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal disc 1 logo down there and then you have the play episode set up an art gallery selection so that's really nice the cursor is also her moon stick as you can tell very very nice so we'll check out the episodes so here we go this is just a pull-up box like all the other ones it has all seven of the episodes here for quick selection and then set up you have English English with subtitles English with songs and signs and Japanese with subtitles pretty standard stuff here is the art gallery so yeah these are very much like how the classic anime limited edition boxes are set up see all the art there you just kind of skim through them all if you want to do <laughs> but very nicely done on this i do think that it's really gorgeous and it looks really awesome in blu-ray by the way i can't do it justice obviously because i don't have a video card type of setup here to show you properly how gorgeous it looks but it does look very very awesome so we'll put in disc two and see how that one looks So here is disc number two for the Blu-ray. Again, very, very nicely <laughs> presented. I definitely love it. It looks gorgeous. But it's very much the same, just like the other one. You have the same little cursor on this one. And instead of disc one, it says disc two. The episodes and everything are the same set up. And then the extras on here, of course, are behind the scenes introduction to Sailor Moon Crystal the art gallery again trailer clean opening and ending and you have more trailers probably for other things from Viz but yeah the the blu-ray menus are fantastic for this I definitely think they're set up rather lovely but now that you guys have gotten us to see what the menus look like for the Blu-ray, I'm gonna pop in the DVD so then you guys can see that. And hopefully it's not too much of a disappointment. I know they simplify those because they're cheaper, but hopefully we can take a look and not be too upset about the way they're displayed. So I'll pop those in now. All 
All right, so this is what we're looking at when it comes to the DVD menus. I will say one thing that I noticed right off the bat, and that is the picture quality of this menu isn't as nice at all compared to the Blu-ray. I know that's typical, but it's something you really, really notice after you have the Blu-rays in. It's a simple picture, of course, just Sailor Moon and Luna from Volume 1 of the release. And you just have play, episodes, and setup. And it's just a moon as your cursor. They did add some little sparkles there, so it's not completely plain. But we'll pick the menus here. And this is, of course, the episodes that you get on the first one. Very simple setup. And then, well, at least they included this. Uh, image and this is one of the really nice images from the shows the um, introduction card that they use for each episode so not too disappointing but I do notice that the quality on the menu is very very low and it's very noticeable but we'll pop in the next one to see if it's any different Okay, well I will say that I'm happy that they included my favorite from the volume art selections and it looks nice on here. Um, same kind of thing with the whole quality. It's very grainy looking on, on here, but you do have the episodes again. Same way, well at least the, the uh, art on the back of this one's different. It has the crystal up there. The setup has the same and this one of course includes the extras and the extras on this one is trailer clean opening ending and then more trailers from other viz media things so yeah I'm glad they included this one this is also from the show and it's obviously really nicely done I really like it that's pretty much how these look and I mean, I know a lot of you can't afford to get anything but the DVDs, but I will say that if you can get the Blu-ray, it is very much worth it. But thank you guys for checking that out with me. I'll give you my final thoughts here, let you know what I think of the whole Blu-ray slash DVD selections. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts about this release? I do absolutely love the box, obviously. <laughs> As I said previous, it's very pretty. It's designed well. They stayed true to the original Japanese release, which I was hoping for when I knew that they were going to release it over here. And I just think it looks gorgeous. It's just, it's nice. And just like the Japanese, when you open it up, you see that image. And that looks really nice. But... I do like the discs, how they're designed, very pretty, and they do take that extra step in putting the art on the inside sleeve. Very nicely done. The choice of the cards and how they even put the box art on the backs of these, that's nice. And like I said, these are really nice framed, but I haven't watched this one yet. I will watch it very, very soon. There's only 14 episodes, so it's going to be really quick for me to watch it. If you guys have any questions and want to know what my thoughts are about this release, particular, the new updated animation Blu-ray release, in terms of animation, or just my general thoughts after I've watched it, leave it in the comments below and I will answer that for you. But thank you guys so much for checking out my review of the new limited edition box. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next Sailor Moon review. <laughs> Alright, bye.